Welcome back to another weekly dose of Jimmy's World. I bought this clean title Musketeer for only $3,000 and we're gonna check it out and see what's wrong with it. Oh, oh that's not good. Holy crap, there's a ton of fire ants. Where, oh. <laughs> I'm just trying to get the gas cap off of this. Oh, this is gonna be a good day. So we got a call today about some sort of airplane that's been stuck for 15 years. They said his name was Brandon. So we're gonna see if we can cheer him on and get him going again. First step is to get all the tools Brandon is gonna need to get going again. We got Private Pile. He's gonna be our first spot. He's got a couple of uh, batteries here that uh, are gonna give us the juice to spin things. Oh, fun note, found this in the trash pile on the side of the road. Turns out, if you put two batteries in it, this jewel right here will get up to about 25 miles an hour. My three-year-old Noah loves it. There you go. All right, let's see what we got over here. Uh, we gotta do, get some chemicals, make sure we get things cleaned and lubed. Ah, uh, what do we got? Uh, super clean and Oh, some super clean foaming spray, super clean. Oh, wheel cleaner. And the big jug, that's the floor absorbent for when you spill oils. We're definitely gonna need that. But hey, don't worry, it's not a commercial. I'm not gonna be a sellout, okay? Fun side note, did you know you can get this at any automotive store and even Walmart? Who knew? Okay, let's see. First things first, we got our box o funnels a couple of tools in here channel or a pipe wrench definitely need a hammer get the biggest one you can find torch does it work yep we got our china squeeze bulb here that leaks fuel everywhere which you know that's gonna be safe and uh some rags so you can clean up okay what else do we need Let's see, oh, we're gonna need our, what is this thing? It's an air pump, pump the tires up. Some jumper cables. Gonna need some garage door lube, you never know. Some brake clean, gotta keep things clean. You gotta, you know, that thing and some of those things. Strap, in case we need to push start it. Oh, almost forgot. Duct tape. Oh, this is really good stuff Duct tape. that pretty much should do it i think we're ready to fix just about anything and you may be saying jimmy why do you need another airplane well i don't honestly i'm trying to get rid of the airplanes that i've got right now because i got too many of them however this one it was a forced deal because the guy was like hey look if you're buying the other two the two sierras you have to take this one and he wouldn't sell me the two Sierras without taking that one, so now I gotta take that one. That's why I have another airplane. Great, fantastic. That is wonderful stuff, awesome. Good morning, we got everything loaded in the car here. We're headed to the airport to take the airplane up because it's an hour and a half drive or a 15 minute flight and there's no traffic. I'm definitely going to do that because we would have an hour and a half drive up and then an hour and a half drive back and you have to add in traffic it could turn into two hours so uh yeah 15 minute flight sounds way better also in this video I have got 10 little easter eggs for you and it's a homage to my 10 favorite youtubers I do some mannerisms some quotes try to do some voices, you know, try to give a shout out without giving a shout out, if you know what I'm saying. And see if you can spot when I do it and who it is. When you find one, put the timestamp and who you think it is in the comment section below. And let's see if you can get all 10 of them correctly. They call this airplane Brandon. I don't know much about him. You know, they, they tell me he's the most popular airplane in the world. Although I've never actually talked to anybody who's flown one. I can't tell you, we're gonna learn all about it today. I did do a little bit of research 
And just within five minutes, I discovered that these have a really bad problem with corrosion and rotting from the inside. We're gonna go see if, if that's true. Rock and roll we got here to Plant City. That's a pretty old bird, huh? Nice, shout out Mike, what's up? Glad to see it out and flying. We got my bird here with its new pretty fancy racing stripes. We got some stuff. Here's the important thing. Always put your battery and gas can next to each other. That is OSHA safe. Let's see, oh, they got me on derelict row over here. So the old 140 and 150 back there. Hey, that one's looking better. It had a tarp over the top of it. So that guy must start to be fixing it. Got a little wheel alignment needs to be updated. And the speed mod, the no prop version, that's the super fast version. Yeah, and they got uh, way over there. Let me zoom in. That's death row is what they call that area back there. Uh, those planes don't come back. That's sad. Every airport's got one too, which is really sad. I wonder if those will start. Hmm. We are loaded up, ready to go. All right, we got all set up here. Now we went through our fancy checklist. Always go through your checklist. And for those of you last time may remember or recall, uh, always wear your shoulder belt if you're over the age of seven. What you saw last time did not happen. So we'll, we'll pretend that you didn't see anything there. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, even better. All right, can I get a clear prep? Mic check, mic check. Yep. Rado. Uh, 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 uh. All right, we got that set, and then we're gonna be on a heading of, uh, what is that? Right about 310, set that in there. Hey, speaking of 310, save the 310. All right, seatbelts on, seats latched, doors are latched. All right, here we go. Okay, full power. And there's rotate. Yep. Everything is looking good. Gear's coming up. All right, we're on the red line. We're in our climb. We'll pull it back to 25. Flaps coming up. Sweet. All right, we're now 1,600 feet. All right, we're doing a whopping 112 knots. Wow. Yeah, this still beats driving on the highway, though. Oh, yeah. Let's see, we left at 7 o'clock. It would have been an hour and a half to get there, so we would have been landing right about now. I guess it does take a, well, we took our time and did filming and some other stuff. And I always say if it's under two hours, it's faster to drive because it's a half an hour just to get to the airport from the house. Yeah. But the trip home is where you make up the difference because you add those in, that's three hours of driving, but it's, uh, it's only, what, an hour and hour and a half of driving plus flying. Huh. Yeah. So you make it up on the way back. 116 knots, woo, we are cooking. Yeah, this airplane is a 115 knot cruise at 75% power, and we're burning right at 10 gallons an hour. To put that in perspective, the 310 goes about 170 knots thereabouts, but it's burning 28 gallons an hour. So it's a lot faster, but you're burning a lot more fuel. And the plane for the Christmas special that's coming up will cruise at 180 knots and only burns eight gallons an hour. I'm really excited for that one. You guys are not gonna wanna miss that trip. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for Brandon here. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I've, I really don't know much about him. They said that he's pretty old and he hasn't worked in a long time, but we're gonna see if we can't get him going. Do you think we can do it? Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll see. We'll give it a shot. Hidden Lake Sierra 20754, currently five miles to the west, inbound for runway 05. Hit. All right. Aim there. Clear to traffic November 8922 Victor, left cross 11. Nice. Low water. Coming down, nice stable descent, right on the middle. 
Go. Just like that. Go. Nice. There we go. And we'll go ahead and flap this up. On the brakes. Sweet. All right. We'll just whip this bad boy around right here and watch this. Ready? And donut. And we had a, a little a little bounce on that one. But the key is just to hold it in there and don't try to be like, oh, I got this bounce. No, hold that bad boy in there and keep her going. And with a low wing, the trick is not to hit anything on our way through. That's true. Oh, you gotta be freaking kidding. Some dude parked his truck on the side of the road? That's... Really? Uh, we don't. We have to go find this guy and have him move his truck because he parked his truck on the taxiway. Not cool. Uh, okay, here, let's see if we can rev our engine up. It doesn't have a horn on it or else we'd be like, Beep, beep! Beep, beep! beep. <laughs> horn installation. Oh, he's going over. Oh, that's awesome. There's another uh, neighbor is going over to talk to him. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. There we go. All right. Okay. Yeah, see, this is fun taxiing because you got to watch your wings on the trash cans. And I always seem to come on trash day. Yeah, that's weird. Why do you always come on trash day? I don't know. That one is really close to the road. Yeah, I don't know about that one. Oh, hey, they pulled it out. Oh, yeah. It was sitting way back in there. All right. Well, there she is, boys. All right, so this is Brandon, huh? That's not much of a looker, is it? Looks pretty old. This is the first time I'm seeing it, checking it out, so let's see what we got. Okay, the prop, yeah. That's good, leaves. Now what I was told was it last flew in 2005 and it was parked over there in those bushes buried in that tree and I think, and they had like five or six other cars here. They had a whole bunch of cars parked over here that they had to move all the cars out of the way and get that. And he moved the plane out, which I wasn't expecting or didn't know he was gonna do when it was shoved in the corner there. I talked to one guy and he said they parked it because it was missing a fuel fitting uh, for like a fuel line or something like that. Then I talked to another guy and they said they were just missing a bolt for a cable on the fuel line or something. I have no earthly idea, but that was 15, six, 16 years ago or something like that now. And this is the furthest it's moved in that whole time. Oh, that tire's flat already. Yeah, I was surprised that the tires even held air, to be honest with you. Does it even turn? Yeah, it turns over all right. Oh, that's got no compression at all. Oh, there's a little bit on that one. Oh, not much. Oh, <laughs> that's not good. Let's see, oh, the window's open. That's probably not good. And this is Florida, so I don't know if there's gonna be like snakes found their house in here or what. I'm, I don't like snakes. Ugh. Gas tank? Do you think there's gonna be fuel in here? Ah, can't even. Okay, we're gonna have to get a screwdriver to get that open. All right, here we go. That's the tool we need. This is how you get a gas cap open. Yeah, there you go. See, just like that. Told you, always hammer first. Oh, golly, that's stuck. Oh, Lord of mercy. Okay, vice grips and this. All right, let's see. I'm just trying to get the gas cap off of this. Oh, this is gonna be a good day. Lord have mercy. Oh, yeah. 
Whoa, that is, that's rough. What the heck? I'm sure there's not gonna be any water or anything in this. What on earth? Yeah, we're working on airplane. Oh, come on, Brandon. Well, he's living up to his reputation. Oh, there's a click. We'll come back to that. All right, I haven't even looked at the rest of the plane. All right, we're good there. Ooh. Ooh, it's got, oh yeah, that's not good. Let's see. Okay, well, that doesn't, that's ugly looking on top, but so far, let's see. That's not covered. Well, that's, that's great. Okay, we've got some lights. Controls are loose. That's, that's a bonus. Any corrosion on these? Yeah, got a little bit there. Whole bunch of leaves and debris. Okay, that's just all mold from Florida. Oh, yeah, let's see. It's not bad. Yeah, here you can see that really good. That part right there. Ooh, that's. See how that's got an indent right there? That is not good. Yeah. That might just be a dent. Okay, we'll have to look into that more. Okay, windows. That's cracked, that's cracked. It's got spider webs all over it. That's cracked. Oh, Beechcraft Musketeer, look at that. You know what? I bet. Let's try this. In no way did Ben from Super Clean send me a box of all their stuff and ask me to, to look at it. That did not happen. I just happened to have this and highly recommend using Super Clean Wheel Cleaner. Safe for aluminum. So that's what we're going to try. Paper towel. Blue ones are always the best. Let's see. Let's see if this thing will clean it up. All right, we got, where's the ugliest spot on this thing? It's like, all of it is really ugly. Here, this is, this is in the sun right here. So let's see. Let's see what we got. Hey, that's pretty good, huh? Huh. Wow. That's not corrosion. That is Florida fungus or whatever but there is corrosion under that okay that's okay that's on the yeah okay not crunchy that's good yeah, it's hard to tell what's corrosion and what's florida hear that dunk, 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 dunk. that's the bearings in this would need to be replaced and then the other check you do is this, listen. Oh, this is not too bad. Yeah, these bearings in the back here. Wiggle it back and forth like this and then up and down. I mean a little bit, but that's, shoot, that's pretty good. Not crunchy. All right, that's good. All right, Brandon. What secrets are you hiding, my friend? Oh, this side is clean. Oh yeah, this was the side that was facing out this way, not under the tree. Oh, looks like a, the reception is not gonna be all that great. You know, I have no idea. I don't have keys for this. Oh, come on, tell me. Oh, there you go, it's just rusted. <laughs> this is like, oh, that's gross. Okay. Any more corrosion on the controls? Not sure what that is. Oh, that's somebody that dinged it right there and they just filled it in with like Play-Doh. <laughs> okay. We got a lot of corrosion here. Don't you love that sound on an airplane? Especially doing it with a framing hammer. Yeah, there's some 
a little bit of crunch in that. I don't think that's, that's not good. That has seen better days. Whoops, got a little close to that. All right, yep, good as new. Let's see if we can get this fuel tank open. Okay. All right. Holy crap, why, people, why? The other secret weapon is this blaster stuff. We're just gonna put a little bit on there. Let's go and put a little bit on the other side over here. Just a little bit. I'm sure we're gonna need that again. <laughs> Let's see, vice grips are up here. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, see that one came off. Um, I don't think that's fuel. Let's go get a tester and see if that's actually fuel or not. So this should be, ah, uh, you can't tell it all in there. That should be blue and that's really clear and clean. Let me shake it around, yeah. That, I don't know if that's fuel. Oh, the antenna. If you ever wanted to see the inside of what's under all that plastic, it's that. Wow, look at that. Dude, the nickname of Brandon should be tetanus. Wow. Okay. All right, come on, Brandon. Let's go. God. Nothing. Man, I'm already starting to sweat. All right. Ready? Let's go. Oh, no. Yeah, jeez. Oh, there's not even anything in that one. All that work for that? Man, let's show you what's down in here. Nothing, that's what's down in there. Nothing. This is a 1965 Beach Musketeer. And today we're gonna go over some of the quirks and features. Hoo all right, so uh, sit rep, we know the tire's flat. We know that f gas tank is filled with nothing but rust. We know this gas tank is filled with a liquid, but we don't know what kind of liquid it is. Uh, I don't have keys for it. Okay, let's look. Oh, look at that. Oh, that door goes way around. Okay. Oh my, that is disgusting. Oh, it's gross. Well, at least it's not filled with mouse stuff. There's quite a bit of mold in here. Ooh, that is gross. Some panels. That's always a, a bad sign. Oh, that's the inside of the fuel tank. <gasps> Those stinky rats, they knew they had bad fuel tanks. Yeah, look, that's the top part of a fuel tank. What do we got in here? Sun and Fun 1998. Sweet. Hey, speaking of Sun and Fun, on the 310, our goal is to have it flying for the April 5th Sun and Fun in Lakeland, Florida. That's gonna be our first stop on the Around the US trip. You're not gonna wanna miss that. We got a huge amount of work to do before we get that done, but that is our goal. Sun and Fun 2022, April 5th. I'm kind of afraid to stick my hand in in here, oh yes, that is, you know, they had electrical problems and they just got, oh, this is bad. Okay, we got plywood flooring. Oh, well, rotten plywood flooring. Strobe switches. There's the key, it's not in there. That sucks. So we're gonna have to hot wire this thing. Oh. That stinks because the battery is back there. And I don't know how to get that door open. God, I don't want to go back here. Girls! Well, here goes. Don't touch anything. Oh, hey! Got a DeWalt screw gun. 
That's a score. Come on. Oh, holy crap. There's a ton of fire ants. Give me that camera. Whoa, look at that. Found that. Those are big old ants. Oh, they got a whole house. Whoa, that's not good. Dude, I don't want to be back here. All that out. Okay, let's see if we can. A pair of pliers. Oh, that's glued to the floor. Ow. Yeah. Hey, oh, we got another hammer that's also glued to the floor. Oh, that's got, that's fuzzy. I'm not touching that. Gross. Penetrating. All right, let's try that. No, oh, really? There's no cap on it. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Oh, watch out. Fire and all. <laughs> Dang it, that went all over me. <laughs> well, shoot, that's, that's all over the camera now. Well, if I was the Tin Man, I would not be squeaky anymore. Dude, that went everywhere. Brandon, you're turning out to be a great disappointment. Ugh. That is everywhere on me. Here, we gotta see if we can find something. Hey, let's go see if this will kill those ants. I mean, it's super clean, so if nothing else, they'll be cleaner. Oh, <laughs> this is, oh it stinks in here now. Oh, there's a lot of fumes. Oh, gotta turn the thing. Okay, I can't stay in here. <coughs> Golly. I should have wore a mask. <coughs> that <coughs> Jeez. Whatever is in that lube stuff over there? What the heck is this? Oh, it's still going. Part of your training in the, in the military is to go through the gas chamber and get gas with like tear gas or whatever. And that is way worse than that. <coughs> and we just started on this thing. All right, Brandon, you are filled with all kinds of not good surprises here. You know, they told me that it's the most popular airplane in the history of the world, and this is the first time I've ever seen one. So we need a hammer and vice grips. Let's go see if we can get that door latch opened. Ooh, hey, you know what? Let's just see if, uh, let's see if we can pull that door off keep the ventilation going on this thing because that is oh i got it on my foot now it's all slippery yes that is gonna help tremendously tremendously dude brandon you're turning out to be a gigantic piece of junk well all right let's go this is a lot easier to get to oh you can smell that coming out of here Still not as bad as the mouse pee in the 310, Mighty Mouse. That was way worse. Here's the plan. I'm going in. I'm just going to whack the crap out of that door to see if we can get it open. All right. <coughs> Gosh. I'm sure we can fix that. Okay, well, we found the found the battery. That's what we're looking for. <laughs> Golly, it's so good. <clears throat> we got one terminal off. Okay. I think we may have found part of the problem that it's, it's got a real heavy case of the Corona. That's, yeah, I definitely feel like I need to wear a mask now. Oh, look, here's the rest of the Corona. Yeah. 
We got the battery unhooked. The quirks and features, there is none. It's freaking old and busted. Zit! 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 Sweet! Zit! Zit! Dude, this thing works great! Battery's fully charged. Oh yeah. Here. Got a bird's nest or squirrel's nest or something. I'm gonna get a stick. Here, we're gonna use our drill. Oh, that is a lot. What kind of nest do you think this is? Bird, squirrel, or some other possum, rodent? Got lots of sticks, leaves, some moss, mold, spores. This is the new variant. Ugh. Oh, hey. Those Bendix mags look all right. I actually do need some Bendix mags for the 310. I don't know if those will fit or not. Oh, oil cap. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, for love of... Really? Ah, there it goes. Hey, it's got oil. Eight quarts, in fact. Oh, touched it. Oh, that's all over my nose now. That is... Uh, that's definitely AeroShell 100. We got our hamster world. Oh, here's what they were talking about. I, just, I see what they're talking about. This right here oh, is stuck and they were missing the bolt that holds that cable down. I'll be doggone. Ironically, that's the same bolt that I'm missing on the other Sierra. And that stupid little bolt is 160 bucks. And you gotta order it, and there's only like three of them in the world. So that's why we're waiting on the other one. We know that's gonna be something. Here's, we got the starter over here. We know where that's at, so we can just jumper that thing. Okay, at least the engine is closed. If that is the cable right here, yeah, it is, it's moving, because that's the mixture cable. Is it moving? Yep. Is that it moving back? Yep. Yep, that's the mixture cutoff cable. Yep. We may have to take this bottom cowl off. All right, how does this thing come off? No way. I do not see a split on this cowl to get it around the prop. There's no way. What? Please tell me that's not right. From what I'm looking at here, I'm looking in here too. That is the world's stupidest. In order to take this cowling off, you have to take the propeller off. Because there's screws back here, but there's rivets all the way along the rest of it. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Thankfully, we're in the same neighborhood as the other airplane where all my tools are. So we got that girl right there. And I'm going to just steal some of the parts, tools from that we're using there to come back over there. Gloves? Yeah, that was a... Where were you guys at an hour ago? Definitely going to be needing some gloves. Hey, look. More hammers. All right, Silas, you carry that one. And always need a magnet. Woo, there's a wing. Oh, yeah. Reinforcements. Should have been wearing these the whole time because that plane is nasty you don't want to get anywhere near brandon it'll kill you let's go we got the uh sparkulators with the uh, fuel getter goingers right here so we'll see start on the other side over here where there's not as many birds you know flying around get these sparkulators happening okay that one Good, came off. That's good, you know what? We should soak these things down with some of our 
slippy. That is a good idea. Okay, that one came off easier than I thought. Okay, that one too. All right, let's, let's take a look at what we got here. Eh, not bad, it's a regular used spark plug. Doesn't seem to be too worn. Uh, a little cleaner, a little more wear on that one, but still not too bad. Ooh, somebody had vice grips on this one. That's always a good sign. When you see somebody else that has used vice grips before you've had a chance to use yours. Oh. Yeah, that one's kind of fouled. That is not good. And the washer came off. Don't worry, we got it. All right, Brandon, are you gonna go? And that's what I got here. And you just roll that around a little bit. And to make things even stranger for Brandon, this has got what's called a 346 engine, which is unheard of. Nobody except for the Chinese and Russians use this type of engines. Really, Brandon? You gotta be like that, huh? You can't use American? Oh, look, I found more corrosion. Ooh, a lot more. <gasps> That's bad. That used to be a clamp that was right there. And now that is non-existent oh that's not good that's the crunchy you don't want oh wow look at that what brandon is falling apart on us guys all right well brandon let's go i guess we'll do the right thing and hook up a battery now maybe she'll burn to the ground and we won't have to bother starting it <coughs> yeah all right. Now, <laughs> you're, are, you, are you recording? Yeah. Because if this burns down, this is a, we only get one take on this. Okay. Do you hear anything? I don't hear or see anything. Let's go inside and see if switches turn on or make noise. Let's see, master switch on. No freaking way. Are you hearing that? I hear it. That, I was not, let, boost pump. What? what? The boost pump turns on? Whoa. What does it, where's the uh, fuel pressure, oil pressure, where's the fuel pressure? Definitely no. Ugh. Okay, let's switch it to this side where it's nothing but water. No way! That is a sound of fuel actually going through the well, liquid. Dude, radio master on. Let's see, do we got strobe lights, landing lights, nav, rotator, any of that? Oh, the rotating beacon actually is rotating. Dude, we got lights right here. <laughs> no way. Oh, it was. What? Oh, there we go. That's, that's weight reduction. What is that? Dude. Does any of the tail lights or any of that? Oh. That one's on. What about the wing tip over here? Yes, that's on. A taxi or something light. No way, that one's on too. All of the lights are on this thing. I saw a strobe. Was that you? I hear something. It is. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> no way! Dude, Brandon! Come on! That's insane. I wonder if my airplane key will work in this one. I mean, they're both, both beaches, so let's see if it works. Now this, this would be a miracle. Ah, yeah, not even close. 
All right, well, you know, we can't win them all. I should wait to find out if they have keys before I just take a screwdriver and LA this thing. Yep, there you go. And that's how you do that. <laughs> I don't want to talk about my time as a juvenile delinquent, but a screwdriver works really well if you ever are missing a key. Come on in. Let's see if the uh, prop will turn. All right, master's on. All right, can I get a clear prop? No way! <laughs> Dude, Brandon! Yeah! <laughs> that is awesome! Ah, oh, that, we'll edit that out. That is fantastic! Super duper! Wow! Let's turn it over and see if we can build some oil pressure. All right, everything clear? That is unreal! Unreal! Real. And it's okay to crank it longer when there's no spark plugs in it because the load on the starter is not near as much as if you have spark plugs in it. Here, let's, is the starter even hot? Yeah, that starter is still cold as can be, so it's not even working. All right, let's crank this thing over some more. Brandon, you surprised me so many ways. Clear prop. That is awesome. We may be here a while. All right, let's give, let's let the battery rest. Some of you may not like my methods or tactics and that's okay, you can hit that dislike button all you want because as it turns out, Brandon here, he was pretty popular after all. He uh, ended up getting so many dislikes that, well, they, they just took the counter away. So now you can just dislike this bad boy all you want and uh, yeah, nobody counts him anymore. Brandon here used to get way more dislikes than likes. I don't know why, I mean, he was the most popular airplane ever made. So uh, clear prop. Let the whirler whirl for a little bit and see uh, if we can't get any movement at all on this oil pressure gauge. And so far, nothing. Oh, wait. All right, here we go, clear prop. Let's see if we can get some oil pressure going. It's that one right there. See, look at that. My key works so good that it works without even being in it. You know, this might not have any oil pressure to it. We're gonna see if we can't burn up another starter and do it that way. Why not? I think it might be going backwards now. Wow, this, this could go on for a while. I'm gonna see just how long that starter is gonna hold out. Well, while we're waiting, might as well take a look around this thing. We got your uh, music box up here. You got your radio tuner down here and here. You got your... Uh, your compass here. I don't know what that is. And then you got your, hey guys, I'm over here, here. And your oops and slips right there. Your how high are you? And that does not look like it's working. Any oil pressure yet? Nope. nope. Oh, you got your how fast you're going. This is very optimistic. 130 knots. Yeah, that's super optimistic for this airplane. That's like those cars that have the speedometers. They go to 200 miles an hour, but they really only go like 85. All right, you got your, your steering wheel right here. Hey, that still works. Oh, it kind of goes in and out. There it goes. Yeah, okay. All right, you know what? I vote we just stick some plugs in it and see if it'll light the fire. Yeah. How about you? Huh? All right. Hey, that worked that time. Now take the bottom sparkulators out and drain those, clean those off. And then I think we're just gonna see, oh, we need to see if we get fuel up here. Oh, that's, that's not good. 
Oh, that's the fuel line. What? Or is, oh, that's the vent line. Wow. No wonder I wasn't getting fuel pressure. That goes, oh, there you go. Yep. Okay, there you go. Oh, my Lord. You know what, though? We've got another one on the other airplane. So, uh, okay, well, we're going to need to go steal that one. All right, Brandon. Let's go. You know, weird thing is, I hear a lot of people cheering for him. I think this is a popular airplane. Okay. That's, I'd say that's got a little corrosion, little, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't, it, that'll be fine. Ooh, you wanna go? Yeah, that's what I thought. Kids. It's gotta go here and over there, crap. This is not even close to long enough. That's what she said. <laughs> okay, well, okay, let's let's put that on the back burner there. Cause that's kind of an important one. That has a lot of fuel coming out right on the engine. But you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. We could just use the other thing that was so corroded that you know that wasn't gonna have any fuel going through it. All right, Brandon, what are you doing? I need about another eight inches. <laughs> Shoot. You know what? I'm curious to know if we even have fuel pressure coming out of that thing. So let's just turn the boost pump on. Oh, which one's the boost pump? Is it that one? Yeah. Any fuel coming out? Look up there. I think our fuel pump just quit on us. Oh, Brandon, you are disappointing me, my, my son. Boy, this is not, not sounding real hot. Ooh. All right, well, let's check to see if fuel's even getting in it. Nope, dry as a bone. All right, so we'll leave that thing cracked. Find the fuel pump, which is buried back here. I think that's it right there. What, they got this thing going around the fuel pump? No. They do. What? You know, for the most popular airplane ever, this is pretty jacked up. All right, Brandon. There you go. Yeah, let's go. Okay. So we're gonna take little steps. All right, you're pretty old. Okay. Just had to get it some juice and then it finally can walk a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if this thing stumbled quite often. So they got, this is the fuel line, I'm pretty sure. And they got it in a baffling, which is baffling. So we'll, we'll see that. So I'm gonna open that and turn the fuel pump on and see if anything comes out. All right, here we go. Anything? Nothing. Nothing, okay. What we're gonna need to do is get creative and cut that thing off of there and make a fitting to attach the fuel jug directly to it. All right, Brandon, let's take this other side off. What? That stinking thing goes way down in there. How the heck do you get that out? Okay, I guess we're not gonna take that one off. So what we need to do is chop this off and get to that. Somehow. Still not doing it. Do I have a fitting over there that's like this? Let's go see if I have a fitting before I start doing all that. See, what, what is that? It looks like a potato. That is 
really hard. Yeah, that's hard as a rock. Look at that. Where did it come from? It looks like an oak tree. Look, there's another one. What in the world is that? Hey, any of you arborists out there, if you have any idea what the heck these things are, put a comment in the description because it smells like wood. I don't know what that thing is. It looks like a potato. What is it? Look at that. It looks like it has like lines like a little cactus would have. Okay, I was coming over here for a fuel line. That. That might work. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we also got this. Maybe we can... Silas, I want you to go find a hose stretcher. It's got a blue handle, okay? Okay. All right, go. Dad, I can't find the hose stretcher. It's the one with the blue handle. There's no such thing as a hose stretcher. That's funny. Oh, yeah, let's see what this potato cactus thing is. Ooh. It is a potato. A little tangy. That is bitter. That is unpleasant. <coughs> what were we doing? Oh yeah. Okay. Is that, boy, that is going to be really close. Oh, so close. Oh, you, come on. No, no way. Oh, look at that. Oh, we really do need a hose stretcher. There's this one. It's got a it's got a hole in it though. Well, fiddlesticks. Man. All right. Well, that's not going to work. Although what we could do is put it on that side and just block it so it doesn't leak even though we'll have no idea how much fuel pressure we either have or don't have. So we're gonna do the right thing and just block that off. And I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do that yet either. I just use that corroded one. Put the old one back on here so it's blocked off. Cause it needs to withstand about 15 pounds of pressure. Let's see if we can get some sparky plugs out. Ooh. All right. Here, let's just set all these right there so we can clean those out. And this lead busted and half of the spark plug wire stayed in there with the spring. Boy, Brandon, you are not doing so well, man. Your health is declining quickly. <laughs> Kira, <clears throat> by the power of Grayskull. Oh, golly, Gomer. That's some Gen X talk right there. Most of the kids have no idea what I'm talking about, but you people that are over 40, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Who's your favorite character? Mine was Orko, the little ghost thing, mostly because he told jokes. That's not surprising. Ooh, this one has like gravel in it. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, what? Holy cow. 
11.30, yeah, it is. It's about time for lunch, huh? You gotta be patient with Brandon. He takes a little while to do anything. And most of the time I don't understand it anyway. It's like gibberish. He probably needs to see a qualified mechanic. Duty chop. Ugh. Ow. Yeah. My plan here is take these spark plugs out, clean those spark plugs. We'll need to figure out a way to rig up the gas can to connect it straight to the engine and pull a bonanza on this thing. And ready? Yeah. Boy, there is some really rotten stuff about Brandon. I have my doubts, but you never know. Stranger things have happened, although not in the history of aviation. All right, so that's all the plugs out of it. Let's clean these. And you'll notice every can of brake clean, that little red straw is gone, all of them. I don't know why, it starts out where you have them and then they're gone. Use safety glasses. Yep, those are not clean. And then let's see if we get any sparklage out of these. We'll put them on, crank it over, see if it'll spark up for us. We'll Get these girls on here. All right, Brandon, are you gonna show any signs of life? This is the first real test. Here, I need you to hold this right here like that when I crank it. Oh, okay. No, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna leave these leads off to see if we even have spark coming out of the leads. Hey, I see orange paint on these cylinders. Come here and look at this. Yeah, I see orange paint right here and right there, which tells me they're chromed cylinders inside, which that's a good thing in Florida. Huh, okay. All right, let's see if we got any spark. I'll have you over here. I want you to be looking right here come here can you see that coil yeah you should be seeing a big spark jump across to the to the metal part here okay, okay? just stand over here out of the way of that prop clear prop you clear yeah all right let's see if we got any spark Anything? A little bit. I don't see anything. No. Watch out for that prop. Not a thing. All right. Oh, Brandon. Switch. There's a retard, that's accurate. And you got a switch, so let's, oh, if we disconnect that, that should unground these and if it's gonna spark, it'll spark. Okay, that one. All right, Brandon, come on. Okay. Well, we got our uh, little PP lead, take those off both sides and that should give us direct spark. We're gonna leave the retard on cause well, I think uh, that that's fitting for Brandon. So we're gonna leave the retard on it and see what it does. Go ahead and look at these wires over here again. Same spot. Yep, same spot. Let's see, are they close to metal? All right, well. Clear pop, let's see if we can get these bald eagles to fly. Ready, go. 
Come on, bald eagle. Well, brother, I don't think these bald eagles are gonna fly. Brandon is not promising at all. I'm not seeing anything. Woo. Come on, Brandon. What? Nothing? Shit. Ah, Brandon. Let's go. Let's go. All right, we're not getting any spark. We're not getting any fuel. <laughs> we're not getting any compression. How long have we been going on this stupid thing? Three, four hours now? Four hours, jeez. There is everything wrong with Brandon. Yeah, lights are on, but nobody's home. That is what's happening here with Brandon. The lights are on, but there ain't nothing going on inside. Well, as much as I hate to, to call it, this is a will it start, and the answer is no. That's a bummer. Well, my name is Jimmy, and this is the dumbest aviation channel in all of YouTube. Try again next time. Come back, hit the subscribe, so we can see if we can Get another airplane going. Well, sometimes you win, sometimes you don't. So we're gonna go and see if we can't find a yummy restaurant to pour our sorrows into. We were not able to save Brandon. You know what, and that's, the more I looked at it, and it didn't take a lot to look at, but Brandon was rotten to the core. He was filled with corrosion on the inside. He wasn't working on the outside. It would have been easier, we just, need to replace Brandon altogether. So I think that's what's gonna happen. Well, Silas, what do you think? Should we go find a hamburger or some barbecue? Mm -hmm. Sound good? Yeah. All right. How was it? Best breakfast I've ever tasted in my life. Best breakfast he's ever tasted in his life. What did you even have? There's nothing left. French toast. Uh, Tampa North X-Ray 39. Check it out. Ha ha! I got the parking spot. It's the one at the end of the row here. And you'll notice when in the earlier today, there was that little twin that, that one of Mike's. So Mike, I got your pocket spot, holla. This is the one that gets the most shade. So whoever uh, is gone, you know, hey Mike, you, you move your, your feet, you lose your seat, buddy. So, mm, got the spot. Ah, yes. They don't all get saved, but because of you, we are saving the 310. Donate to that. I'm being picking up the props on Friday. Crazy expensive, uh, but we're saving that one. This one is not getting saved. Brandon, it's time for you to get out of here, buddy. Brandon's done. My name is Jimmy. This is Jimmy's world, and you are now in my world. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.